Wake it up, wake it up, boy. Your boy was MIA though, huh? Man, not for real though. Like, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Straight up, like, this is why they say health is wealth. You feel me? They health is wealth because you can't get to the wealth if you don't got no health. You feel me? You ain't even going to make it to the land of milk and honey if you don't got your health. So, you know, I always keep it real with you guys. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I pride myself on, you know, being authentic, you know what I'm saying, and, and telling it how it is, straight up. And uh, for like the last two years, my, my chest was getting tight. Like, my chest was getting tight. Like, you feel me? It was like if I, imagine this, right, y'all? Imagine like you, 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 you. Imagine like if you, you know when you suck it on a paper bag, how it's just crinkling like. That's how it felt on my heart. Not severe, though. I ain't, you know, I niggas be trying to tell stories like, oh, like they was just, oh, I was on my deathbed. No, I ain't, no, I ain't said it like that. Out of one out of ten, I was like a two. You feel me? But it would happen at certain points of the day. And I mean, I would skip days. This is two years ago now, y'all. It would skip days. You know what I'm saying? Like skip weeks. It wasn't nothing like I was just, I was having it, but you know, just off and on. I put it like that. And like, if you could suck in on the paperback, like, it'd feel like if I suck in, it'd feel like my heart was, like if I had enough air to pull more and more, it'd, and you shouldn't feel like that. You should be sucking in. And nothing should, nothing, your heart shouldn't feel like it's getting smaller and smaller. You know what I'm saying? And that's how mine was feeling. I neglected it. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so, and then I had like another little tightness that was happening. It's all, I would say all three of these pains was all different though. So now, you know, I'm I'm scheduled to go to cardi cardiology, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know how it is, man, with a with a perfect person. That's why you got to have insurance, man. Health is wealth, man. Get your insurance. Do what you got to do to pay it. You feel me? Because you know, man, hey, you know, if you have in the... Uh, I'm still off the welfare insurance, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I hit them. I hit them two years back to back on when I tore my ACL and tore my Achilles. You feel me? All this right. That's when they had to reconnect my calf right there. My Achilles up under there. That motherfucking scar. Oh, y'all probably can't see it though, but right. I hit their ass so hard. They was like, man, we done gave you, we done gave you NBA, NBA surgeries the last two years. Cause they had to, they, my regular doctor sent me to another doctor. No, sent me to, you know, uh, 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 I had a referral to a surgeon and then that surgeon was like, had to send me to a better surgeon because he couldn't do something. So I had went even a level up from the regular person that was supposed to do it. So that really cost a little bit of change. Boy, they being mad at me. So I was skipping this shit, you know what I'm saying, with my heart, you know, and then uh, the next thing you know, now it start, it started just getting to the point to where it was just like, I was I, all like for like the last like week and a half. I just felt hella fatigued. That's why I couldn't get y'all no videos because I couldn't come into myself. You feel me? When I hit the camera, man, it's like it's like camera action. You know what I'm saying? When I press the button, boop. You feel me? I gotta deliver for y'all my character. You know what I'm saying? My mind, my attitude, right? All that type of stuff. You gotta you gotta pack up in the you gotta pack up in these videos, and you know when you yourself or not. You know what I'm saying? You know when you could deliver. And I was just gonna be up in here to just like I couldn't even gather my thoughts together. I was feeling drained. And fatigue. I missed the whole. I just started going to the gym uh, two days ago. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just getting back right. And that's why I'm telling y'all help this well because you never know what's going, going on inside your body. You got you always have little signs of it. You always have little signs of it. And that's why I say you got to be out here taking care of your body. A lot of us, right, coming from this lifestyle, we just take care of our body when we in a penitentiary. You feel like where you almost damn near forced to because everybody going to be you around. You're around a whole bunch of barbaric type of individuals, whole bunch of males that think like this. So with the mat, though, the workouts mandatory, you feel what I'm saying? Uh, uh, not mandatory that, you know what I'm saying? For us, like mandatory that you're doing it. But it, it's I mean, you're going to see it all the way. You're going you're gonna to see it everywhere you look. Somebody working out. Right. So more than likely, you're going to get involved. So you forced to really take care of yourself. You sleeping when you're in the penitentiary uh, uh, at good times. You waking up at good times. You feel me? You eating the same foods over and over and over again. So a lot of that, the, the, the body's familiar with that. And then out here on the streets. Right. But trust me, listen, out here on the streets. You can be away past that. Niggas just don't because you get to the streets and tear they self up.
That's why I need to get out the penitentiary. 50 years old. Y'all ever wonder 50 year old man gets out the penitentiary and he looking 33 to 35. That's damn good if you could look 15 years younger. But that's because, like I said, he was sleeping. He probably was on a good diet up in there. No drugs. There's drugs up in there, but it's not gonna be like to the look. If you get, if you get, if you get, if you get dolphined out, it's not to the point to where high will be on the streets. I put it that way. And not too, not too many like other homies just fell victim. You know what I'm saying to that. So prison was just going. It, it was going to make you better. But I'm gonna tell y'all this: if you out here and you apply the same principles, you are gonna get better results out here. Most motherfuckers, that's why they only looking the penitentiary good. They glow. Nigga, you got a good, you got a good 90 days when you get out. The glow. You got a good 90 days, you're gonna try to stretch it for six months. Cause look, when they release you, you're not working out. No, this is what the normal person gonna do. You stop working out that day. He's eating even worse. You feel what I'm saying? Now his sleep, everything else, you running, yo, you running around here on the streets, wild like a chicken with his head cut off. All this is going to impair your look over time. But if you use those penitent, if you use those penitentiary, uh, 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 if you use that penitentiary structure, go to sleep on time. Wake up. You feel me? Eat this. Eat that. If you pick and choose right while you out here, you're going to be more healthier out here. But like I was saying, though, they get out. He got his 90 days. He got his 90 days looking good and everything. All the females on him. All that. It wears off. Next thing you know, shoulders be all slopey in 90 days. He don't got, he don't, his bulk, all that, his muscles, he lost every piece of it. You feel me? Because he got back to the streets and just beat his body up. Beat it to hell. Because it's more out here to do. Remember, when you're in the penitentiary, it's only so much you can eat. It's only so much you can do. It's only so, so, so many places you can go. So, like I said before, your force, growth is calling you. Education is calling you because you're contained. You get back out here, these dumbass dudes ain't read no books. Niggas be lying when they talking about going on podcasts, talking about, yeah, man, I'll be reading. That's why a person don't even know the books they've been reading. They, they just know the author. They don't know the books. They, they, they been, they, I know how it is in prison. Sometimes you just like in the hole, you reading books. Man, I remember we had this series going on. It was like, it, it, it was old fantasy type, type shit too. I don't even be messing with that. But we was on the lockdown at Atwater. Police got killed, right? 2008. We was up in there. Man, listen, it was Swore the Truth series with Richard Rawl in there. I don't know if y'all look up that book, man, but I wouldn't read it, though. It was just some shit, you know what I'm saying? One of the white dudes had that, you know what I'm saying? He was getting all 10 of the books in. And they was like 1,000-page books. But it's like, you know what I'm saying? You don't, we was two-month lockdown. We was, come on. We were reading up everything up in there. So we was reading a series. Man, I was skipping pages up in there. When the boring, when the boring pages would get there, man, I'd grab a chunk. And we was all like, we wasn't competing to read them, but it was going in the pecking order to where it was like, Fool next to me from Kansas City, I'll never forget his name was Bobby Lee. His ass, he was reading fast. So I be talking to him in the vent. I be talking to him in the vent about what he's reading already. So I be packing it in my brain. Cause I know I'm a all right. I be packing it all in my brain because I done skipped the book that I passed him. So I done took about, I take a 30 page boom flip. You know what I'm saying? Cause it was a thousand page read. I, I read regular. I ain't nothing you'd spectacular. I mean, I can read, but I mean, I'm just saying I'm not just a fast reader. Like, I want them people like I like to. I sit back. You feel me? I got a short attention span too. So I'm the type of person I could be reading. I could be reading. If it's not like capturing my attention, every part of it, like every moment of it, I sit there and be reading. Next thing you know, I have to sit back and think, and I'll be like, damn, I've just been reading these lines and ain't comprehending what I'm reading, and I'm thinking about something else. Like, I always got that problem, you know what I'm saying? Or, like, right, I'm just fidgety and shit, like, you know what I'm saying? I'm always right. Like, I've always got to do something, you know what I'm saying? That's just the person I am. So, I have to find something that really locks me in. But this is the type of things that we do in the penitentiary, man. And then we get out here and don't do when the last time you read a book. You get out here. Look, you was in there drinking black coffee. 
Now you out here with all the bells and whistles in it. That's how you ain't got no six pack no more. You going to Starbucks. You feel me getting a fully loaded latte, whatever they be getting there. Shout out to the black coffee though. I still drink my black coffee. You know what I'm saying? That's the only way I remember when I first drunk that shit up in the pen. Boy, my nigga Rock D from VNG passed to me on the same lockdown when the police got killed. That was my first real major lockdown in the feds. Yep, boo. He had the packs of coffee too that we used to be getting on the trays. While they was passing out trays, you know what I'm saying? I shook two of them blue packs up. I put that hot water in there. Bam, I drunk it. I didn't think it hit me at first. But I was just wired all of a sudden, like boom. I was just you know, push ups, then you working out, you know what I'm saying? You 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 reading, you feel me? And then I'm shaving my chest. Next thing you know, I'm in here on lockdown, I'm giving myself a whole makeover, you feel me? Off the off the off the off the buffy. That's how it is. You know what I'm saying? So back to what I'm saying though, you get back out here, now you're drinking the Starbucks. Along with all the other sweets you eating, cheesecakes is luxury. Get your luxury on. I know you've been in the penitentiary. I know it's like, damn, you want to eat the world up. You wanna, you wanna fuck a million bitches. You want it as a motherfucker, right? You feel me? You wanna eat up all the food. You, you wanna do everything to the maximum intensity. But then you gotta, then all of a sudden it wears off somehow, though. Boom. Now you sink back in your normal program. You done got the whip now. You feel me? You back feeling yourself. You know what the whip brings. That means you sitting down in the car. So you 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 mobile. So now, now, right? You at your house laying down. You get in the car. You feel me? You laying down. Unless you got an active occupation, you packing it on. You messing all the things that the penitentiary built for you. And that's why niggas fuck up and make it in the right. And that's why, they, that's why they fuck up and don't make it. Right. Because niggas don't keep that structure. Drink your water. Drink your water. I know the good Kool-Aid. I know the good Kool-Aid. I know it be sounding good, but you got to think on everything. Don't consume too much. Health is wealth. And that's what I want to give you on the video. I'm all right. You know, well, I think I'm going to the cardiologist. I feel a little bit better. I feel so maybe I just had like a little, you know, bug in me, but I didn't feel sick. I felt fatigued. And like I said, my heart now is been getting, it's been getting tight and shit. It hasn't, it hasn't, I ain't felt it though right now in like six days. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, we're going to go from there. We're going to have to get up in that thing. Like I said, you know what I'm saying? You know, for the welfare insurance, they just want to tell you whatever. Oh yeah, they ain't nothing. You know, they, they hooked me up to the EK, e, e, what is it? E, e, EKG and all that. You know what I'm saying? Drew my blood, all type of shit. Everything come back regular. Nigga, no. Both my parents died of cancer. My mom had 17 tumors in her. Nigga, my dad, he was in, he was in California State. That nigga said he was brushing his teeth one day. He had a lump in the top of his throat. You feel me? He had a lump in the top of his throat. He had got out in 2000. My dad had got out in 2007. I was in the feds already. He had got out in 2007. He ended up passing away in what? 2016. Yeah. A few months after I had got out the feds. You feel me? And he had it. They, they removed that chemotherapy. Boom. Got that right. Uh, uh, then the shit spread to his back. And then he had prostate. Or he had prostate cancer. Then that spread to his back. Next thing you know, he was gone. You feel me? So I'm like, man, I'm like, Nigga was scared. I still am. I gotta go see the people. You feel me? But now I'm feeling a little bit better because I'm not fatigued. My my my, my mind is getting sharper and sharper by the day. So you know, that's why health is well. So that's why I was saying y'all through this whole video, you gotta make sure while you out here on the streets, man, to take care of yourself. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I know some fools can't, you know, you might not live in a neighborhood where you can walk around the block and everything every day. You feel me? Cause uh, you know, you seen, you know what I'm saying? Some <laughs> Somebody might get on your bumper, you know what I'm saying? But you got to find somewhere. You got to find somewhere to get your physical fitness on. You know what I'm saying? Whether it be link up with a partner and try to get something started where you can go to his house or garage or something. Long as you set a program and make sure you hit everything too. Legs, back, chest, shoulders, arms, right. Those main body parts over and over. Get your cardio in. You know what I'm saying? Just try to look at your body like this. God gave you this thing. And so look at it like you don't want to just wear it down. You feel me? You don't want to wear it down because the clock is ticking on all of us.
You know what I'm saying? So that's how where I was at. That's where my mind state was at. So, you know, and now I'm back. You know what I'm saying? Swallowing spit and talking. Nah, but for real though, y'all. <laughs> Y'all like and subscribe to the channel, man. We going up, man. I'm be giving y'all, man, some of these, uh, man, some of these good old, uh, 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 old penitentiary war stories too, man. I gotta go on and just, and it's just life in general, man. Cause we done, we go through so many, uh, 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 serious and funny and 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 it's just magical and special moments throughout life. You feel me? So it's a must, though. You know what I'm saying? It's just Keep on broadcasting that. You know what I'm saying? Putting it out there. You feel me? Because, right. Mm -hmm. That's my main thing with this. You feel me? To go, to go, to go, to go. You know, explaining things about people and, 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 and their stories and their situations. But getting insight from it. That's why I'm not so far to jump the gun. Only time I jump the gun on people is when, listen, when it's obvious Something is wrong with the whole situation. And this type of message, man, spread to the people that's young, man, up and coming, man. Right? We gotta spread the right type of message with this type of stuff. You feel me? You don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't need to go to jail to get it. You don't need to go to jail to get out when you're 50 to be looking like you're 30. 35. You don't, you don't need, you don't need to do that. You can preserve yourself out here by making the right decisions. You feel me? When you get mad, you know what I'm saying? When you get mad at somebody, things don't go your way. The most thing you think, the most you just think about is squabbling with somebody. That's it. You shouldn't think about, just think about this for real. Look, y'all, I'm going to leave it at this. Just think about this for real. Like, it should only be a certain, like a few things that you should really want to kill somebody over. Like fucking with your kids, your family, you feel me? Shit like that, right? A lot of shit is just frivolous shit that niggas is doing, right? Just to be doing it. And that's the sad part right there. You got to think about it. What's really like worth getting killed over? Not too many things, right? You can, you can, you can end a lot of things. You can end a lot of things with a simple fight. If it's that, if it's that, if it has to go there, if it has to go there, you can end it there, though. That's the best thing about squabbling. You know what I'm saying? You're not going, you're not going, you right. You're not going to have to go through too much. You're going to be sore for a couple of days and it's going to be gone. It's over with. But y'all take care of yourself, man, out here. That's what y'all better do. Drink your water. Get your sleep patterns in order. You feel me? That's the main, that's one of the main things. Boy, this world put a lot of stress on you. This diesel talk, I'm gone, boy.